After you run your updates for your Gypsy, you're going to notice that you have a, a new icon here. It looks like your Cricut Imagine. And when you select that, it'll go into the Cricut Imagine application that is now on our Gypsy. The, the update doesn't take too long. Um, mine took about 40 minutes to complete. Um, I had to run it twice to get the cartridges to show up from my link to Gypsy files, but once that completed, um, it worked out. It worked really well. Okay, so here we have um, our Gypsy screen, or our Imagine screen on our Gypsy, and we have the print and cut, manage cartridges, our settings, we can delete any of the files that we save on there, open a file just like we did on the Gypsy application, and print full sheets of paper. What we're going to do is I'm going to go in and show you how to manage your, your cartridges and how to get your cartridges onto your Gypsy that you can use them. So I'll select Manage Cartridges, and as you see I have Audrey in here right now, and down here at the bottom we're going to add a cartridge and it says connect to imagine and insert the cartridge so let me connect my um, my gypsy to my imagine and I'll get my cartridge ready and we'll go ahead and link it up okay I've inserted my JT cartridge and it has loaded up on my imagine and I'm gonna come back over to my gypsy and I'm going to say okay and it'll say connected on our imagine and it is going to load our cartridge into the Gypsy. Now this process you'll see down here in the bottom, it has a uh, percentage bar. It'll show you how far it is. When it gets to 100%, then it'll show up here in the screen. Okay, we've completed our loading of our JT cartridge. You can see it here onto the Gypsy and so far we've used 11 percent of the space that's available to put um, our cartridges on okay so i'm back here at our main screen and if we want to go in and use our cartridges we're going to go into print and cut i'm going to grab a pencil here because it's easier for me to sorry about that glare to go around um okay uh, it's the same thing down here as if it's on our um, Imagine. We have our classic cartridges, the default images, and our Gypsy, or our Imagine cartridges right here. If you click and hold, it'll show both of them on there. Um, we go in here to our regular cartridges. All of my linked cartridges are now showing here in my screen. Um, I'm going to go in here and just pick one. We'll just use Create a Critter. And here's our Creator Critter cartridge. And I'm going to select this dinosaur, put him on the mat. And it's just like you were working on your Imagine. Now, one thing that's very important when before you go to cut, or if you want to do a test cut and make sure your settings are okay still, my pressure was set at three and my blade depth was set at five on the on the carriage or the um the blade holder and it was not cutting completely through my paper so I had to switch this up to six and on my screen I had to change my pressure to five um, so that's one thing I noticed a lot of people are having problems with. So if you are cutting and it's not cutting all the way through, go ahead and change your pressure. Um, okay, so we're going to go in here and we're going to pull up the edit screen for our dinosaur. And if you know, if you scroll over, you should see your cartridge over here. Well, there's nothing showing there. So why is that? Well, what we have to do is we're going to go back. And we're going to go back, we're going to select the Imagine cartridges, and we're going to select JT. And that will initiate JT to be available for us to 
Okay, we selected the JT cartridge and JT is now available for us to use. Now, I'm going to hit next. Next. And our dinosaurs up here. We're going to go into the edit screen. And now our JT is showing up here. Now, so if you go into this and you don't see it right away, don't panic. It's probably because you didn't go in and select it to begin with. So we can pick any of our patterns, whatever we want to use. We can use a solid color from this um, cartridge. It's the same as if you were working on right on your Imagine screen. So next thing we need to do is we just lay everything out on our mat. Let me pick something that looks good. I don't like that either. Okay. Now we have it selected on our we have it on our mat. We have it colored in with our JT color cartridge, our JT cartridge using one of the patterns that's on there. And if we hit next, now don't forget change your pressure and your settings here before you send it over to your mat. Okay, before we go on to printing this out, I just wanted to just point out one button here. There's an apply all button. If you select this, what this allows you to do, and if you read on the screen here, it says you can select a pattern or color swatch from below and it'll apply to every single thing that's on your mat. Um, you can also change the sizing. So if you put things on your mat and you want to just wait until you have everything out on your mat, you can come down here and you can select, you know, your relative size or your true size and everything on your mat will be proportionate or be that exact size. So that's one nice feature that they've added here on um, this application. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll hit next to send this over to the Imagine. And what it's going to do is on your Imagine screen, if you can see that there, it was saying receiving information from the Gypsy. So, um... This, the Gypsy will send the file over to your Imagine, and I'm just going to hit OK here. So now we can go back and start doing whatever we want on here if we want to create another file or want to add some more images, and we're free to go. Okay, it's going to load our mat in, and then it should ask us for the JT cartridge. Okay, it says please insert the following cartridge, JT. So we're going to put our JT in and it's going to go ahead and do its print and cut. Okay, so while we're waiting for this to print and cut, I went ahead and put this sun up here in the corner or on our, our toolbar and I'm going to go in because I want to use the Audrey cartridge. So I went in and I have Audrey selected. And if I go into edit, I now have my Audrey up here. So I'm going to pick a pattern at Audrey, pick this yellow, and hit apply. Okay, so I'm going to leave the original dinosaur that we cut on here as well, just so you can see what it's going to do when we go to print and cut. Okay, so I'm going to hit next, and I'm going to actually make these a little bit smaller. I'm going to take these down to 2 inch by selecting the apply to all and I made it relative size 2 inch and I'm going to hit apply and now they're both reduced down in size okay so we're going to hit next it's going to send everything over to our imagine okay sorry about that my uh, camera got full so what I did is I stuck um, the sun on here and I selected my Audrey cartridge to use and colored it in with um, a pattern from the Audrey cartridge and we're going to go ahead and print that out. Print and cut that out I should say. Okay we're going to hit next and we're going to send our file over to our Imagine. It says it's connected and receiving the instructions from the Gypsy. And again I can hit OK on my Gypsy screen and just continue on. And it's asking for us to load our mat. We're going to load the mat in the machine. 
and it should ask for our cartridges. It's first asking for JT, so I'm going to put JT in. And it should ask for our Audrey. Give it a minute here. And it's asking for Audrey. So we'll take JT out and we'll insert our Audrey. So whenever you do this, you're going to have to put the cartridge in the machine for it to get the actual um, information that it needs to continue. Hi, baby. And we're going to go ahead and print and cut, and I'll show you when we're done. Say hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Say hi, cricket people. Hi, cricket people. <laughs> okay, here we're cutting out. And you'll notice my mat's pretty sticky. This is not a new mat. I've had this for a while. Um, I had to re-stick my mat. I used the Zig 2-way glue pen. And it works phenomenally. So if you have a problem with your mats not being sticky enough, just go ahead and um, do your Zig 2-way. Okay, so I have that done. I'm going to come over to my messy desk. And I'll pull off. Little images here. Let me grab my spatula. Sorry, I'm not on my tripod because it's easier, whoopsie, to just maneuver around. So, here we have our son using the Audrey pattern, and we have our dinosaur using our pattern from JT. Okay, so that's pretty much what our update gave us. Just swing around here. And it's basically what we have on here is now on here and is portable. The only thing we still can't do is move anything around on the screens or weld or anything like that. If you want to do that, you're going to have to go into... I'm not going to save that. You're going to have to go back into your Cricut and you cannot... Um, color any of your images from the application there from the Cricut side. So um, you're going to have to do everything from over on the Cricut Imagine application. So that's what it is. If you um, if you have any questions, just leave me a message. I'll see what I can do to uh, to help you guys out. I hope this was uh, helpful for anybody. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye-bye.